tobacco here. Gordon was taken in a different direction. I need to go search for it. Easy, isn't it? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Take patient entity twenty. More interesting. When Project Titan is operational, Joker will be the perfect test subject. Good afternoon. Today I thought I'd skip back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small fishing village. I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't really let me. I don't believe it. My father was a cop. One week from retirement with a mob. I've seen the movie. What are you scared of? Scared? Yes, scared. There's obviously something. Something that made you what you are. What if, what if I'm too scared to remember? It hurts too much. Then I can help you. My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and family. I ended it kneeling in their blood, broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers. was a test. Well done! You passed the elementary grade. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save him.
Doctors will die. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. And Dr. Young went to x-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. I'm here, Mike. Hold still. I'll get you free. I'll get you out of there. We're gonna be okay. Patient interview 21. Patient name, Zhang also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two legs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? It's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Tape interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I've yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest in school. $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Mark, he was convinced I had cheated. I began yelling, you must have cheated! Admit it, you moron, you cheated! I swore I didn't, and he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. I returned to my work, but I could not shake the pictures from my mind. I should have been repulsed, but I was more eager than ever to find an explanation for why someone would do this. Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Let me introduce you all to the sterling work of our new head of research, Dr. Oh, Penelope Young. That means it's some of the bitch's cash. He's here! The forefront of research into understanding the human body. down anyway. Don't cry, Cash. You're right where we want you. I'm gonna get out of here, and you're gonna wish you were back in your cell. 
<laughs> Whatever, jump. Yeah, you're not getting out of there, Hookman. It's <laughs> the bat! Go, Batman! Can you control the ventilation system in there? Try it. It's a no-go. He disabled remote access. I'll find a way. You've got to help us. If you can clear the gas out of the room, the doc and me can get out of here. out and more people die. If I just had one minute alone with that animal, I shouldn't have left intensive treatment. I would have made sure that freak stayed where he belonged. Patient interview 44. This is yet another interview with Edward Nigma. I have to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded. Whichever one he is, just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting. Hello, Miss Young. You look tired. Anything you need to find no, thank you, Edward. I'm here to help you. We all are. Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well, you're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. Really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry, I'm sure you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doctor. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down. Get out. Go. There is still medical staff needing my help. Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Our findings have led to debates about whether psychosis is in itself neurotoxic and whether potentially damaging changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such changes. Batman! Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. <gasps> it's true! You really are the world's greatest detective! How did you do that, Bats? 
Oh, what the hell? Get down there, boys. See if he can detect being punched in the face. Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll I'm see. Sorry. I tried to tell you. I couldn't speak. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. Patients, please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation. Oh, I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer. I've got two old friends coming to the party. One of them is just terrified you'll leave without saying hello. The other, well, let's just say he's going to be as surprised to see you as you will be to see him. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it. Yeah, he can operate on me anytime. I hear he's alive. He's here! Friends on the inside and out. I am quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? Why don't you let me talk to him? I'm sure we can settle this. Once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? Shut the hell up. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The Warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. God, I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility, hunting down the other doctors. Not a problem. All staff have been rescued. You'll be safer if you remain here. I'll wait here, but please try and end this. As All soon the as medical possible. staff are safe. Time to continue following Harley Quinn and Gordon's trail. How long will this incident go on for? I have work that needs my urgent attention. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. I've got ring sights. <laughs> to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals. Did you find them? Are they okay? Yes, they're safe now. Batman, we've got another problem. 
I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. We can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. You really don't have the authority to... I'll get her there, Batman. You ask me, it's about time for a little payback. I don't like it, but... Who called the elevator? It wasn't us. It's coming from the lower floor. Cash, take Dr. Young. Get her notes and then find somewhere safe to hold up. Everyone else, go to the observation room. Barricade yourselves in. The boss says he's in here somewhere. Spread out. Psycho built this place. Don't look like no hospital I ever been in. metal box hanging precariously over a deadly drop what say i just blow the emergency brakes and drop you like a sack of puppies say good night that's boom <laughs> only kidding got a few more surprises in store for you prepare to face your fears all of them <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. Barbara. I... I'm sorry. I was too late. I'm sorry. The number you dialed isn't available. Please leave a message after the time. Barbara, are you there? Please hang up your phone.
Mom? Help us, Bruce. Don't let us die. I'm fine. Had a little run-in with Scarecrow. Slowed me down. I'll get back to you in a bit. What do you call someone who has failed to solve three-quarters of my riddles? A Batman? 